It's fed up, fast, easy, and delicious. I'm Christine Deaton, and welcome to Branson, Missouri. How is everybody doing out there? Hey, listen, we got some great soup for you today, mm. a great dessert, mm. a great drink. We got homemade croutons, and we got to get to work. I hope everybody's doing great out there. I hope you had a fabulous Thanksgiving. We did here. We had relatives come from California, and it was just a great, great time. So we wish everybody well and hope you had a great, beautiful, very filling day. All right. We got to get two things going in the oven. But before I do that, hey, let me introduce you. Well, you guys know my mom's here. My daughter Elizabeth's here. Hello. There they are. Hello. They're going to be tasting my potato onion soup. Sounds now, wonderful. I like it where it would be onion potato soup, more onion. So you like onion. You guys like onion, right? Yeah. So if I make it more of an onion potato soup, you're going to be okay wonderful. with that, right? Okay. Right now, we're going to work on dessert because i got to get that in the oven. And then I'm going to do the, the homemade croutons, which is so easy, you're not going to believe it. So let's get working on this. Hello, okay. Casey Gill. Hello, Thanks for Casey. being with How us. How are you? I know Jen's out there. Who else is out there? You said some other people were out there. I'd like to say hi to you guys individually if I can. Yep. All right. Tell me, you can tell me while I'm while when they When they pop up, we've got okay. some on, but it doesn't, it's not okay, showing not names showing to names. Me, so. Okay. All right. So here is our applesauce. Uh, spice cake. Mm. We're going to make muffins because muffins go a little quicker, so that's fast, easy, and delicious. So we're going to do muffins. Okay, or cupcakes. I should say cupcakes. Muffins, cupcakes. It's in a muffin cup, a uh, muffin pan, so you know, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, you're going to use a whole um, box of spice, spice cake mix. Okay, and that's going to make all the difference in the world in this particular recipe. Okay, now applesauce. So you want a cup and a half. Don't use the cinnamony because this has got all kinds of spice in it. Just use the plain applesauce cup and a half and that goes right in. This is going to be a one one bowl batter. So it makes it very easy. Most cakes are that way. You, bum, 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 bum. you just throw it all in. That's no, this is no exception to the rule. Okay, three eggs and clean as you go always. But use the box. Use your box. To put all your trash in, then you only have to throw away a little box. Isn't that exciting? All righty, so let's get this going. I want to get this in the oven because, of course, that's got to bake. I'm also going to put the croutons in the oven, and then we're going to work on the soup. The soup. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect time sure. of year for soups, sure thicker crazy. soups, soups that are kind of, you know, they just kind of sit in your stomach and they're just, it's hearty they're and hearty. they warm you from the inside out that's this kind of a soup today okay so so far i've got my spice cake mix i've got a cup and a half of plain applesauce don't use the spicy one i've got three eggs and i've got a half a cup of raisins at this point if you want you can put pecans or walnuts in chopped up it would be probably pretty delicious i can't have the nuts so i'm excluding them for today but we're gonna we're gonna just mix this up okay so anyway, I want to know how everybody is out there, how your Thanksgiving went, did you make anything? Delicious. It was delicious, wasn't yes. it? We had a lot of great delicious. food. What we did Thanksgiving Day is we did a quick live um, shot of everybody here and showed all our food. And everybody kind of pitched in, you know, I did the main stuff, the turkey and the mashed potatoes and stuff like that. But everybody brought something. My mom and my brother, they made uh, a beautiful looking ham. The ham looked great. My mom makes this stuffing with, it's usually with ground beef and rice. It's a great stuffing with, what do you put, uh, onions and celery and stuff? What do you, oh, yeah. what do you put I, in it? I just fix so, it like I would. Mm, that's okay. Uh, Mito, more or less. I sauteed uh, the onions and peppers. Right. And carrots. I even put carrots. Oh, you put carrots in it? Yeah, I even put really? carrots in and then I put, this time I put turkey. Yes, ground turkey, right. And I think they liked it. They it, liked it. I it was delicious. It was very delicious. Was it? It was, yes, it was very, very delicious. Yeah, because really I had it never made it with ground turkey. Yes. But everybody, the we're, turkey. we're all turkey people, yes. yes so, so I made it with the turkey and I, I guess it was good because everybody ate it. No, it was very mm -hmm. good. It was really good. 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 So right now what I'm doing, guys, is I'm filling the, the muffin cups to oh, make sure. Peas. Oh, you, oh, no, oh, no, yes, and then you did mushrooms and peas, which that is delicious. That's like a staple in our family yeah. where you do, my mom does this 
maybe in the next cookbook, Mom, we can do your mushrooms and peas. Because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do, when I do another cookbook, which is at 1,000 likes and, and subscribes, 1,000, so we got to get moving on that. I'm going to do a holiday cookbook, oh, <laughs> and then I'm going to do a, just a regular with all the recipes that I haven't put in this book. Um, we're going to do that. So we so, can put your mushrooms and peas in the holiday cookbook. Yes, Elizabeth. Jen said, I make delicious cans of soda. Oh, that they were so good, though. They were so good. My sister, we always tell her. Now, here's the funny thing. My sister's a chef. Yeah. Okay? She always says But I always tell her, bring all the drinks. Because she brings good drinks. Yeah. <laughs> she brings a little wine, and she brings all the sodas and all that beers. stuff. So. Yeah, I was going to say, you send me to the store, I'm going to get the generic two-liter bottles for 89 cents. And the... For soda. My sister, on the other hand, she'll That's bring right. the good, the really good stuff. But... Jennifer is a is a great cook, oh, and yeah. she in the in the current cookbook she has a recipe in there, and if you want to ever taste the best coleslaw ever oh. with a twist on it, I'm not going to tell you what the twist is. You have to buy it to find out. How about that? So um, Victoria um, just yes. said um, her grandmother made the turkey and most everything else. She she ended up bringing some pretty good bread, and she said if everyone wasn't just being nice. So no, she, she made Vicky, your bread. breads. I was going to say, I've been looking at your breads lately. You've been posting, and they look really good. Do you have a bread machine, or are you actually putting it all together and putting it in the oven? Let us know. All right, guys. Let me put a little bit more on this one right here. And then this is going in the oven. And I have. I mean, I could make a whole bunch. I could probably make another dozen cupcakes. Um. Right now. Counting on you doing that. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to turn it this way because my croutons have to go in. All right, let's work on croutons before we even get to the soup. Fast, easy, and delicious soup. It's not going to take long at all. And for those of you who don't do soups a lot, in my cookbook, I have 10 different soups that are so easy and quick, you wouldn't even believe that you can make soup that quickly. All homemade. Rather than if you open a can, which is nothing wrong with that, mom and I know we make we do a lot of opening cans for soup. But when you want that nice homemade soup, you will be shocked at how quick you can make it. So don't be scared about making soup. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I cut. You have to get day old bread, guys and girls, because it's a little harder. It can take the oil and stuff that you're going to put on it. So if you use fresh bread, it's very soft. It's just going to absorb that oil. Not a good thing, okay? So we're going to put some oil in there. I would say probably about a half a cup of oil, maybe. And you're just going to mix it all around, okay? And then basically we're going to add some seasonings. And yeah, let me let me get this over here so you can see, Chris. So Vicky says she yes. actually made it. No bread machine. No bread machine. And then Woo, girl. Jennifer said she loves the new intro, Food Network worthy. Oh well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can somebody tell the Food Network to come check with you? <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> you know, last week um, we had within the first hour of going not live, you know, when we were done, we had like five, 600 people who tuned in and watched the show later on. And then of course at night, Chris puts, he, he edits stuff if, if it needs it. Sometimes it doesn't need editing. I didn't do much editing. No, master. right? And then sometimes he'll just put graphics in or whatever. And at night we get hundreds and hundreds of more people that, that go to YouTube to watch, which by the way, you can watch, We this is our 45th, yes, 45th episode, 45 episodes. Mm, yep, that's a lot All of good food. All different recipes, okay, and you can see every one of them on our YouTube channel. And to, to see that, all you got to do is go to um, My Cooking Nook, and then when that pulls up on YouTube, then uh, go to Videos, and you'll see all, as of tonight, you'll see 45 you can see 44 of our videos. And we hope you're spreading the word out there. We really are. Okay, so I had cut the bread this morning. Remember, in cooking, there's always prep work, guys. You can't get away from prep work. And prep work, when you're wanting to do things fast, you gotta do some prep work. For me, because you know my, uh, my issues with standing and everything, and I'm very wobbly, 
Um, I have to do everything. I sit at the table and I do all my chopping and cutting my bread and whatever, whatever I have to do. So it's, and it's part of cooking. You, I don't know any recipe that you don't have to prep something. So prepping is just part of it. So don't let it scare you. Okay. I'm going to put, I'm going to sprinkle this with Italian seasoning. Okay. Mm. This is probably in all, maybe a tablespoon. I'm going to put some parsley. I love parsley. Does You don't think parsley has a flavor, but it does. Okay. It also makes it pretty. And green is pretty. It's Christmas, right? <laughs> I'm going to do a little We're bit of We're all about the holidays pepper. right yes, now. Well, we are. <laughs> we are. I'm going to do some cracked black pepper. If my greasy hands will let me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Jennifer said she made an amazing pork carnita last night. And Ooh. had a taco bar. Well, she needs to take pictures of it and send it to the website. She says she will. <laughs> All right. All right. And now, of course, garlic salt, because, you know, I'm Italian and garlic is just part of what we do. Okay. And it's my low sodium California blend. Okay. I can't use a lot. I can't have sodium. So I use the garlic because it's more garlic than salt. And then it's an even low sodium. So it's even better. Okay. Croutons. There you go. Going in the oven. How quick and easy was that? Right next to these muffins. Alright. And I'm going to put... Hello, Judy Reynolds. Hello, Judy. How are you? Thank you for joining welcome, us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're very, very grateful for those of you who week after week after week tune in. And I hope you guys are telling people about us. Because honestly, with this being show number 45, and you guys can vouch for this, We've done not one recipe the same. Every single show has a different recipe. So you've got 45 different recipes. You can go back and watch. And then, like I said, I've got a few more before the end of the year. Okay. We've got like three or four more shows before the end of the year. And then, so when we start up again in, in 2021, which thank goodness 2020 is almost over. Oh my um, God. We got more recipes. I mean, it's kind of crazy, but there's so much to cook that you just there's always a new recipe or a new twist on something. So we we hope we're not boring you because there's always something new. All right. Hello, Brandy Burton. Hello, Brandy. How are you? Thank you for joining us today. All right, guys. Here we go. Quick. We'll do fast, easy, and delicious potato onion soup. Okay. And Harlan, you're going to love it. <laughs> if you guys like <laughs> potatoes, this is a great soup. If you like onions, this is a great soup. If you like potatoes and onions, this is a really great soup. And it's going to be, here's the thing. Mom doesn't like food with milk in it. This has no milk in it, and it's still going to be thick. Thank God. Right? I'm, I'm not big on milk. You know that. So, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with not having milk in things. But what do you do? I mean, if you're not, if you're doing like a kind of a creamy soup, how do you do that without milk or cream or something? Ha, I'm going to show you. <laughs> so there won't be any more question about how that happens. Okay. Always remember to heat your pan first. Whatever pan you're, it's frying pan, whatever you're going to, you know, oil and all that stuff, heat it first. Then put your oil or your butter or both. Today I'm going to do both. Okay. So, I'm going to cut my butter. I've got about four tablespoons here, but I'm only going to use about two tablespoons of butter. Okay? About two tablespoons of butter. That's all. And you guys know that I use the Blue Bonnet Sticks. They're, they taste amazing. It's a, great, it's a great brand. Okay? And that's what I recommend. When you're baking, you're going to be baking for Christmas and everything. Hey, I'm, Emily's here. Well, hello. <laughs> So, Ann Marilyn says, yes, I know, I will love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just said she's been wanting to make a potato soup. No milk is very welcome. Okay. Yeah, Have you found many nice good-looking no-milk soups? <laughs> you know what? Because most of the time when you're looking at cream soups, of course, the cream is always going to be milk. But I thicken my soup a whole different way. Okay. I don't know what your plans are, but I'd say butter is a good start. And butter? cheese is always welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all I'm doing now is I've melted my butter. Chris, come see. I've melted my butter, okay? 
and I put in oh, probably a tablespoon of oil, okay? The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to saute my onions. Now I will tell you in prepping for food that I did cook the potatoes this morning, which are right here. I cooked five potatoes, probably about three, four inch potatoes. I just boiled them, peeled them, cut them up. Okay, and you kind of want a big chunk because if you do them really tiny, they're just going to disintegrate in a pot. Okay, so you want them chunky because they are going to, you're going to lose a little of the volume of the potatoes, but that's a good thing in the soup. Okay, all right, let's get some onions in here to saute. And you know, I love that sound, right? There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. So I'm going to saute the onions to a little pretty soft. So come and watch this, Chris. The okay. drink for today is wonderful. The what? The drink. The, the drink. You. Emily, I, I don't think that's... Wine. Did you have any of yours? Oh, okay. the, Emily, there's the cups down here. I have got I sit here wine. and help yourself to the cranberry apple. It's a, it's a ginger cranberry apple punch. Thank you. And they're loving it, so I'm glad. Okay. There's a sizzle. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Good. So, did you guys see Emily yet? Ah, uh, we're hello. saying hello. Well, Emily, you know, we're talking about it right now. Say, Emily, Emily has medical issues like I do, and she had a, an infusion today. And so, you know, poor thing, here she is. <laughs> Still supporting the show. <laughs> All right, this is going beautifully. Now get those can get those. I almost said carrots. There's no carrots in here. Although you could put carrots in here if you wanted to, actually. Nah. But yeah, you know, it'll leave it like a, like a nice white soup. Okay, that's so the less veggies, the better. less veggies. I know, I know. Well, there's no meat in this one, so we'll just go with it. I'm throwing onion around. Anyway, the onion has to be pretty translucent. Okay. So we definitely want to cook this, all right. Uh, at this point, I'm going to put a little bit of my garlic salt in, not a lot. We don't want the garlic to be the flavor. We just want to enhance, okay, just a little. There's a big difference between flavoring something and just enhancing it a little bit. Remember and of course, for our, yeah, yeah, and of course, for our, our Meniere's disease yeah. friends out there, we do try and keep that Sodium count low for you. Stacy Doherty's on. Hi, she says Stacey. hello. How are you, Stacy? Emily. You know, she the, says the Meniere's people. Hi. I mean, I, when I'm on Facebook, I I have you know my the Meniere's group on constantly, and I'll bet you a third to a half are talking about <clears throat> I've got to eat low sodium. That's a huge part of this disease which was like the whole inception of this show was to try to show after 38 years of having this that there is a way to cook and there's a way to cook with flavor and there's a way to cook low sodium so that's what this is all about but that is a big big thing in the Meniere's world okay all right so here's my onion this is about you see it's starting to get translucent down here okay so now I'm going to put my potatoes in. The potatoes are in. I'm going to mix them in. The potatoes, like I said, were just cooked this morning. They're nice and fresh. I diced them up kind of big. The starch on the potatoes will be another thing in the soup that will help make it um, thicker. Okay? So right now, basically what I'm doing is I'm heating the potatoes through. Okay, and we're going to add the low sodium broth in a minute and water, but before we even add any of the liquid, I'm going to show you the trick to making a thicker soup without milk or cream. Okay, all right. Okay, so let's talk about the cookbook. Over 60 recipes, all kinds of helpful hints, all kinds of measurements, all kinds of information. You wouldn't even believe it comes. It's a little book, but when you start flipping through that, you would not believe so the much information info. that is in that book. Buy it, and right now I got a special going on. Okay, so if you haven't bought a book yet, this might be the time to do it. The books are eighteen dollars normally. Right now, I'm doing until December tenth. I'm doing fifteen dollars, and with that fifteen dollars, you get a cookbook, you get a My Cooking Nook magnet right here. 
okay? And you get a free autograph. Most people charge for autographs. I'm not charging you to write on the page. I'm not doing that. So for 15 bucks, you get the book, a magnet, and my John Hancock. Perfect time to do it. Now, you can tell them how to get that. So if you will go to www.mcn fed up dot biz m c n which stands for my cooking nook fed up dot biz that's our website and there you will find the cookbook ordering page it's called the cookbook store there you go page. just go there and order it i got i got a couple of orders this morning i keep getting orders all the time so just go to the web page order it tell me how many you want and i'll send it to you i need your physical address as well as your email address it's all self-explanatory just go order the book okay here's the trick look here's the trick to thick soup so out of this out of these veggies and two tablespoons of flour we got we're gonna have thick soup because this is going to make a roux okay because what what will happen is the flour is going to coat all the vegetables and then as I pour my liquids in it's going to mix with that flour and it's just going to be thick and it'll get thicker okay this particular soup is in the book all right okay so let's add the water first I want to do the water first that's two cups of water guys two cups <clears throat> Now, Chris, if you come over here, smelling wonderful. I'm telling you, you can already see, guys. Look at this. Mm, it smells good. You can already see the thickness coming in because of the flour. Yeah. So you don't need, in this case, because we're not big milk or cream soup eaters, the flour that I just put in, and now the water, is making it nice and thick, and that's the trick. So you don't have to use the other stuff if you don't like it. So Margie Newton just joined us. Hello Margie, how are you? Thank you for being here today. We are making potato onion soup. And this soup is delicious. It's in my cookbook. You guys, after the show today, go to the website and order the book. You're getting a special. 15 bucks. Okay, I want you to see this also. You see the little brown flakes in there? That's That shows real potatoes, okay? When I'm peeling the potatoes after they were cooked, I, I purposely, honest to goodness, I leave all those little flakes of brown because that tells me, like, when I go to a restaurant, which I don't do right now with everything going on still, but when I go to a restaurant... If I see those little flakes of brown, I'm excited because then I know that they're real potatoes. I don't like thick potatoes. So Jennifer said you can also thicken with mashed potato mix. You can, yes, you absolutely can, which is which is a, a good thing to tell everybody. So to thicken this also, you can add the flour or you can actually add like a maybe um, a quarter of a cup or a half a cup, depending on how thick you want it, to you can add it to this and that the mashed potato flakes will thicken this also. Look at how beautiful, look at this, look at this, how that's thickening up. Can everybody see that out there? I hope you can, because honest to goodness, this is, oh, I can't wait to eat this, guys. <laughs> the smell is amazing. I always love the smell of cooking. Whatever it is, it's just the whole aroma goes through the entire house, and it's just amazing. But this is the perfect, come on over here. This is, the, look at this, this is nice and thick okay and I want that to simmer just a little bit because I want that to all marry in there before I put the broth in okay now let's say once I get the broth in there it's it's still a little and now it gets too loose what do you do well you take a little bowl with a little bit of water and a little bit more flour and mix it up and put it back in it's just a thickening agent and it doesn't it doesn't change the flavor that's the thing Sometimes people use cornstarch for thickening. I don't like that because I think cornstarch changes the flavor. I don't like cornstarch. I don't use it. But that doesn't mean you don't. Either. You can use it if you want. I don't particularly like it because I really think it, it really does change the flavor. So Stacy Doherty is asking, uh, are you not putting in fresh garlic? 
No, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, like I said, I don't know if you were in earlier. I, I add a little bit of garlic salt just to enhance the flavor of what's in there. I don't want it to change. If you add fresh garlic, that is going to be a very prominent. You say you got to be very, very, very judicious taste. with. Now, if that, the use of if that. you, if you out there, as you're creating your soups and stuff. If you like that strong garlic flavor in a soup, by all means, go ahead. Look how look at that. Is that beautiful? I'm gonna I'm actually gonna take this over here and show you guys. But I don't know that you could actually see it that well. See what I mean? Two tablespoons of flour, and that's what happens. Yeah. So Vicky said it's looking yummy. She might have she might have to see if she can make it tonight. There you go. And then Jennifer says for me, top with bacon and cheese for a loaded potato. I've got cheese. I don't have the bacon, but yes, this is a perfect soup. If you want to crisp up some bacon, and of course, fast, easy, and delicious, put it in your microwave. Crisp it up, crumble it on top. I do Absolutely. have cheese. As a matter of fact, you guys all have your own cheese, yeah. and you also have a little pat of butter because I'm going to give you a little piece of um, cornbread to go with this too. That I made last night. Hey, don't, don't, do not. Oh, I think the muffins are done. Do not when you're making stuff in the in the kitchen. Like we made some chili. I made chili, and we had a bunch of cornbread left. So I'm thinking this is a perfect side for soup, also, you know. So you guys are gonna get cornbread too. All right, I am gonna put in. I'm gonna actually measure. I'm gonna put two two cups of low sodium. Guys, I cannot stress enough to you. Do not use broth. Regular broth. Use low sodium. You know why? I'm going to tell you. I know you asked. You're out there asking. Why not? Because the soda, the, the, if you don't do the low sodium, it's got a lot of sodium in it, and it absolutely has a different flavor. Then your meals might probably will be salty. You can't take salt out. You can put it in. You can't take it out. So you don't want anything super salty. I don't. I can't have it. But... I'm just saying, if you want a perfect broth to go with any of your soups, right here, guys, chicken broth, 33% low sodium. This is a perfect enhancer to any flavor soup. Even if you're doing a beef soup, you can use chicken broth. That's the truth. Gracie Lane is with us. Hello, Hello Gracie, Gracie, and welcome. How are you? Thank you for being here today for my potato onion soup. Now, yes, I have onion in there, and yes, I have potatoes in there, but I'm gonna taste it because if I'm not tasting enough of that oniony flavor that I like, then I'm going to the, you know the soup and dip mix, the onion stuff that we always do with sour cream and you use it as a yeah. great dip for chips during the holidays. Um, oh, so I'm going to add some of that. That's a good idea. Yeah, you're going to add some of that. So let me taste this. Yeah. Woo! Well, we Woo! But I like onion. I'm adding. So Stacy says when she makes potato soup, sometimes she likes it lumpy, but sometimes. She gets out the immersion blender to get a smoother soup. She says she likes. You can it. do that, sure, absolutely, yeah. And then Jennifer say says she always creating. uses low sodium broth. Who said that, Jennifer? Absolutely. Don't do not please don't use full bore, full sodium broths. It's going to change your your soup or whatever you're using it in. And trust me, guys, I'm going to let this simmer a bit. Why did you just sprinkle it? Trust me. The onion soup mix. Oh, yes. Because I want, I want more of an onion flavor. Yeah. Okay. I think these are done. So uh, Jennifer also said, in our house, screaming while cooking is always a good thing. Perfect. Look at these. Screaming. Oh, looks great. Woohoo! Screams. Oh. Oh. Woohoo! Screaming when we cook. Yes. Cooking makes us happy in our family. That and saying, "Shut up." Shut up! When something comes out good, we go shut up. We had shut up rolls for shut Thanksgiving. Up. And then Stacy said that was a good tip about the dip seasoning. 
Yes, it, it works. It really works and it adds great flavor. I'm just checking my, my ooh, ooh, I'm screaming again. I've got perfect croutons, guys. Mm, those look great. Oh, they're crunchy and beautiful. Look at those. Oh my God. They're, they're perfect. So how easy is making croutons? You don't need that store-bought stuff. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. But if you got some old, some couple days, three day old bread, don't throw it away. Ding, ding, ding. Cut it up small, little oil and some seasoning and <laughs> pop it in the oven. Jennifer said, shut up croutons. Shut up croutons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this has got a simmer. I want, because I, because I put the onion soup mix in there, I, want, I really want it to kind of marry all those flavors. And the only way to do that is to simmer the soup. So, goodness, <laughs> this is fast. This is, we're in here 30 minutes. You say we're 30 the minutes soup, in. That's what I'm telling you guys. Homemade soup right here I, in about 15, 10, 15 minutes. Soup is basically This done. is where I'd be saying <laughs> make some more croutons, put the rest of that cake mix in the oven. Well, I had some, <laughs> I had some croutons left over, so I'll probably go ahead and finish baking those. Like I said, I've got my cornbread. These are beautiful. And you know what? I'm going to let you guys sample the croutons. It's about time. While they're yes. nice and hot. So Stacy said homemade croutons are the best. They are the it's best. And they're so, it's so easy. There's no, I mean, there's no mm. trick or anything to this. Oh, absolutely. You can, even a cameraman mm. gets to try it. I'll try that one right there. Thank you. <laughs> Pardon my crunching. Now, my, mind you, those nice hard croutons are going on the top of the soup with cheese so I mean now what I am going to do with these and I might just stick them in the freezer for a couple of minutes to cool these off quickly because I want to decorate one so all I'm going to do is I don't know if you guys can see the little specks in here or not okay we're thinking Christmas everything's Christmas right now so I used you know the little non pareils right here and I used the Christmas colors red white and green and I just put them in a cream cheese icing okay in a Ziploc bag and then we're going to just, I wanted the cream cheese. The cream cheese goes with the, the applesauce and the spice and everything. It's a perfect, it's a perfect marriage of those two flavors, okay? So I wanted to, I wanted to have the cream cheese topping, okay? So what do I do? I just cut this, cut the top, and then we've got a perfect piping bag that I'm going to get to in a minute. So. Which one of you girls would do me a favor and put this in the freezer for about five minutes, please? The <coughs> kind of pan is hot, so be careful. Just put it out there. We're getting some weather alerts here. We're, weather. We're supposed to get some rain. Tomorrow, and me. Well, it's supposed to rain, what, tonight, I think? Mm -hmm. and it's supposed to snow. Now, I am oh, waiting. I, I have so. been waiting for so. So, Vicky said the, the croutons look very crunchy. They are, but they're like perfect crunchy. Yay! And then Jen said also Italian colors, just saying. Also Italian colors, that's right. That's absolutely correct. The, the little non pareils, yes. And I believe that's how you say it. So, Vicky's asking if we've gotten snow this year. What's that? Vicky's asking if we've gotten snow yet this year. We None! Know. Nothing! We're supposed to get it like tomorrow. December! No right. snow. I'm like, come on. If you're going to have a winter, I want a white winter. I want a white winter. Now, if we get one, I'm going to be like, I wish the snow would stop. <laughs> All right. Now, remember, I put my onion in there. So I'm going to get another spoon. Don't double dip, guys. Not when you're cooking. I'm going to taste it. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm, that's beautiful. There's the happy dancing dance. And screaming. I am dancing. I'm going to put you dancing know, and put, screaming. I'm going to put some pepper. All the fun you can have in the kitchen. I'm going to put some pepper. So, Vicky says we're pepper. getting what they had in weather. She said, hopefully, it doesn't ice over as bad as it as bad well, as it did by yes. house. That's the only problem with with ice and snow is I mean the snow is that it turns icy. I mean we grew up in Brooklyn. We we know what that kind of weather is. We really do. And you know, it's not fun. It's not fun. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the onion mix. I like that flavor. Remember as you're cooking, create, guys. 
just create. It's your, it's your soup. It's your pot right here. Okay? This is your thing, your creation. You get to do whatever you want. And I'm creating my delicious onion and potato soup. I like it more oniony. They do too, so I'm adding more onion. But other than that, That's true. here's the thing. Except for decorating the cupcakes and my soup being just like, I mean, we're done. Good. Good. I'm hungry. Let's go. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we're done. We are done. Wow. Okay, girls. Flip over. Whoop. One more time, I want you guys to tell them what you contributed to the cookbook. What recipes that you guys put in there, please. All right. Um, so, I put in the, I, forget, I think we just called it a simple shrimp ceviche is yes. what it's called. Yes. Yeah. That's what it is. It's it can be used. We've used it as like our dinner, but typically you would use it as like chips and dip at a party. And it's very simple to make, and it's very tasty, and it's kind of impressive because it looks like a lot of work. But the way I do it is very easy. So cool Check and out. delicious, fast, easy, and delicious. I did a Mexican lasagna, basically um, green chilies and chicken and cheese in layers with tortillas. It's very delicious. Mm -hmm. Very easy, very delicious. And I believe I made um, uh, zucchini sort of stew. It's a stew. It's a stew. Yeah. Zucchini, first zucchini. Delicious. It is delicious. Mm -hmm. And you, there were two in there. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. I can't remember your second one, but you had you had two in there. And Elizabeth, I also used your Alfredo recipe that you gave me when you were like, yeah, I was like in second grade. <laughs> did you, was it the mushroom and peas? No, I didn't put no. that one in there. We talked about that one yeah, earlier, but talked about that too. <laughs> it'll go in the next one probably. Okay, Chris, come show the soup here. The, and you've got, it's a little brown. That's because I used my onion mix here, but that is a delicious soup. Okay. I'm going to pull out so, one of the cupcakes maybe? Sure. I can decorate one while we're waiting because actually we're ready to serve. Good. Okay. How quick? I'm going to just... Elizabeth, bring me the bowls and I'll start putting some in. Okay. I'm going to put some in my <clears> dish. <throat> Okay, so everybody uh, on their plates, they got a little cup of cheese that they can put on top and a little pat of butter. And so the pat of butter is for the cornbread that I put on the side. So Elizabeth is bringing me my bowls. Smells so good. I mean, they are very warm still. Vicky said that we're making her hungry. She's supposed to be fasting right now. <gasps> Why is she Why fasting? Is fasting? What is she doing? She's fasting. No. Why? Okay, you guys get to put your own um, cheese on. Oh, no, no, here. Oh, you gotta have don't croutons. The croutons. Hold on, man. Hold on. I gotta put some croutons on top. Okay, mm -hmm. there you go. Mom, you can put your um, uh, cheese on top of that. Okay. Oh, somebody's calling me. Look it's at this, guys. Okay. It's just it's just beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. Okay. Croutons. And you guys put your cheese. I'm not even and waiting. I mean, go ahead. And, and, mm. Emily, you want to grab the cornbread and everybody can take a slice yeah, of cornbread? Sure. Oh, this is And great. like I said, this would be a perfect kind of soup for bacon, too. Yes. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Everybody loves bacon, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Do you want to is it like good? Oh, it's delicious. Okay, there's that. And That's one a more combination of the potato and the onion. Oh, well, I, like I said, I prefer a lot of onion. Uh, although I love potatoes. Elizabeth's a potato mm -hmm. person. She loves potatoes. I'm, I'm Irish. You are Irish, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put some in my own bowl over oh, here. It's really delicious. All right, good. I hope so. Again, this, this recipe is in my book. You get a $15 special right now. You get an additional little gift. And that is, you get a magnet and the free autograph. Let me wipe the edge. I like to serve food 
So remember, you're going to go to mcnfedup.biz to get the cookbook as well as all the uh, menus and uh, great information about the show and the food as well as Meniere's disease. And you can check us out on YouTube. All the episodes are available there. Just go to YouTube, search for My Cooking Nook. While you're there, please like and subscribe. We uh, are growing our subscriber base, growing our fed yes. up family, and yes. we want you to be a part of it. So please. We have a lot of people that are already a part of it, and we thank you for that yes. so much. There are wonderful people out there that support us every single week. Join us every week because every recipe is different. Every single recipe is different. Okay, I'm going to ice one of the cupcakes for you because I want you to see what I do. Okay. And all basically, honestly, it's just cream cheese icing. Okay, and I'm just and I put the little Christmas nonpareils in it. This is a cream cheese icing because the cream cheese is a perfect icing or enhancer or whatever you want to call it to the applesauce spice cake. And there you go. <laughs> and there's our little dessert. It's got raisins in it. You can put nuts in these. You can do whatever you want. Be creative in the kitchen. Okay, here's the meal, guys. Look at that. All right, you guys, thank you for being here again. We love you guys. Once again, we made a potato onion soup. We've got the homemade croutons. We've got our little um, applesauce cake cupcakes. And we've got a ginger cranberry fizz. And it's delicious. And that is, it, 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 it's got cinnamon in it. It's just a bottle. I'll tell you real quick how I did that. A bottle of cranberry apple juice, a bottle of ginger ale, and then I put some cinnamon sticks and some apple slices. And you got a great drink for the fall, winter time of year. You guys, we love you so much. We'll see you next week right here again on My Cooking Nook Setup. Fast, easy, and delicious. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. We love you. Bye.